hey everybody, I'm Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And we were finally able to move my father in with us a couple of days ago. And before he moved in, I was looking at our back door and our back step here, and I suspected that I might have to build a ramp for him. Well, now that he's been here for a couple days, it's evident that I will have to build a ramp for him. And it would also be helpful for Elizabeth too. Um, this house was built in 90, 1971, so it's 49 years old. And it's a solid house, but there are a few issues that I need to work on. Uh, let me show you a couple of them. First of all, the door, this is the back door. There's a lot of rot right down underneath of there. And so I'm gonna to have to remove the door, fix the, uh, the sill plate and the stringers and the joists under there, and then put in a new door. Um, also, this whole back porch is a concrete porch. It's kind of settled a little bit. And you can see where this step has actually dropped down and separated from that. So the problem here is there's twofold. One is that this step, the second step, is much larger, higher than the first step. And that messes up my father as he's trying to climb. The other problem is that as you can see there's no railing here so my father actually has enough strength to get up those steps but he has poor balance and nothing to hang on to and it's very difficult for him so he has actually climbed up on this side hanging onto the toilet as he comes up just for stability and uh, so by the way just as an aside this toilet this is the toilet that apparently was the original house a uh, toilet in the house from 49 years ago and it had some serious issues. Not only did it just not flush well, but it took uh, probably five gallons of water and it took absolutely forever to refill the tank after you flushed it. So I took it out. I did not do a video of this because I did it real fast. I took it out and I put a nice new high efficiency toilet that uses a gallon or less. So that's just sitting there waiting to get rid of. But So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build a deck, same level as the, as the uh, porch there, out to the end of the sidewalk and then from there I'll bring a, a, a ramp down this way toward the sidewalk so from right about here from right about here you'd go up a ramp onto a wooden deck that's the same height as the concrete give us a, a little bit bigger back porch and an easy ramp for both uh, my father and Elizabeth to climb all right, so here's the plan. This is level. The sidewalk is not. It slopes down that way. It also slopes away this way. I'm not going to put any kind of footers underneath of this little porch that I'm building because there's already concrete here. So I'm just going to set it, like build it like a table with legs, and it'll just set right on the concrete just like that. I'm not going to bother... Uh, anchoring it down because I don't I really don't think it's gonna be a problem with it going anywhere it's just low and it'll be fairly heavy don't expect it'll move but if it does in the future then I can just come along later and put an L bracket right here to uh, fasten it down to the concrete I think that should work I'm using these little feet on the bottom to get it up off of the concrete so there's no uh, contact with the concrete. All right, that's perfect. This is the slow, time-consuming, tedious part because each leg is a different length and the concrete slopes so that I have to put an angle on the bottom of the, of the leg so that it stands up straight. So this is slow and tedious, but once I get this frame finished, then the rest of it should go much faster.
Perfect. Nice and level. Okay, so I got the decking on, only took me six seconds. <laughs> I still gotta do the ramp, but it's starting to rain and it's getting late in the day. So I'm gonna knock off for today and I'll finish this up tomorrow. Okay. It's the next day. Okay, so the deck and the ramp are done now. Now, as far as the railings, building code requires anything higher than two feet to have a railing. Under two feet, it doesn't need to have a railing. This is only about 18 inches there and 20 inches down there. So by the building code, it doesn't, does not need a railing. However, Elizabeth is a little bit concerned about the, the ramp as it goes down. It does snow here in Virginia, even though it's not as cold as up north where we used to live. So she's concerned about snow and especially ice that, she, that would get on that ramp that slopes down. So I'm going to put a railing on here for her so she has something to hang on to while she climbs. And it's not going to be as big and elaborate as what the building code would require, but I am going to put a railing on it for her. Good grief, it's snowing.
Okay, so I'm finished with the ramp now. And like I said earlier, since uh, the railing is not actually required by code because it's less than two feet, I'm not gonna put a railing all the way around. I just put this railing here where the Elizabeth would have something to grab on if the, if the ramp is icy because it could be pretty slippery and that wouldn't be a good situation. So I've got this handrail here. And uh, <clears throat> over here, I'm thinking about putting a set of steps down here. I haven't really decided yet. But that way, if we have any of our garden over in here in the future, instead of going all the way down and around there, I can just go right straight down the steps. So that's, I'm probably going to do that, whether it'll be there or here, I don't know yet. But that's still sometime in the future. So for the railings, I have two lag bolts here and here going in there. And that makes this absolutely rock solid. It doesn't move. And then for the top, you can buy this pre-made railing that's beveled on the sides. It's a lot easier to grab than just a two by four up there. And if I was concerned about code, which I'm not, it would be, I would be required to put pickets in here with only th no more than I think it's a three and a half inch gap in between each one. But since uh, this is not being inspected, there were no per uh, permits required, uh, nothing is required like that. I'm just doing this the same design as the front porch right there. So I think it was a pretty good project. I'm really pleased with how it came out. Thanks for watching everybody. Live simple, live free, you be blessed.